To the director of the Peter Ben Brigham Hospital in the year of 2013, greetings. At this midpoint in the hospital's first century of operation, it is interesting to glance back over the past 50 years and then, hastily, to cast one's eye forward over the next five decades. Glancing backwards among the high points are, one, the advances in neurosurgery by Harvey Cushing, two, the discovery of ACTH by George Thorne, three, the development and perfection of the artificial kidney by Carl Walter, and four, the transplantation of kidneys. At this time, our surgeons are about to perform the transplantation of a liver from one patient to another as soon as a suitable donor is found. The next 50 years will undoubtedly see transplantation of human organs extend beyond the kidneys and livers. During the next half century, I would hope that the whole complexion of the hospital would change from being an institution whose primary function is that of providing curative care for patients with established disease to one whose emphasis is on the preventive aspects of medicine. In other words, the hospital would concern itself with preventing disease and thus suffering among the people of the community. The success, success of such an undertaking would mean that the demand for inpatient facilities would greatly decrease and that a large majority of the hospital's patient-related activities would be conducted on an ambulatory basis. If such is the case, there would be a radical change in the operation of the institution and many administrative problems with which we now struggle would be resolved, such as the continuing shortage of nurses and the task of feeding patients in their beds. By 2013, the scourges of cancer and cardiovascular disease will, I hope, have long since disappeared. People will be living longer and unfortunately developing diseases now unknown to man. For at this time, 1963, no one has attained the age group during which these maladies occur. Automation will be abundant throughout the institution and although solving many problems will bring the new ones with it. To you in 2013, hail, carry forward the proud tradition of which the Brigham is so proud. F. Lloyd Muscles, MD, Director. <laughs>